Today, we are going to be talking all about the pity system. Let's jump straight into it, Lynn. The new pity system lets players get guaranteed alphas, gammas, and roamers, but there is a couple of catches. First, there are two different pity counters. One is for alphas and gammas, and the other one is for roamers. You can only have one of these pity counters active at a time. For example, if you switch on the gleaming pity counter, and then try switching on your roaming pity counter at the same time, the game will automatically turn off your gleaming pity counter for you. The second thing is that you actually need your boost on for the pity system to start counting down, and on top of that there's actually two different pity counters depending if you have the gleaming and roaming game passes compared to if you don't. If you have the game passes, the pity counter will start at 128, and if you don't, it'll start at 256. But for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be talking about the game passes pity counter, or the 128 one, okay? So I don't have to like mention both of them whenever I, I bring it up, and it doesn't really confuse people, okay? The third thing is, if you actually find an alpha, gamma, or aroma within your 128 encounters, okay, before the pity system actually kicks in, your pity system will be reset back to the 128. So for example, let's say you just done your boost, you haven't done anything yet, you do a 28 encounters, and then on your 29th encounter, you find an alpha, your gleaming pity system counter will be reset back to 128. And the last thing I should mention is that when your boosts run out, the game will pause your pity counters at where they left off, so when you put more boosts on, you won't have to restart from scratch again. And that's the quick rundown of basically what the pity system is and what it does. Now I actually have some more questions that I actually want to answer because I've seen a lot of these going around, and it's a little bit like more in-depth stuff, so let's get into those next. The first question is, which Lumians do and do not get affected by the pity system? For the Lumians that don't get affected by the pity system is actually stuff like when you're rallying, when you're fishing, when you're reviving fossils, and on top of that, all of the static encounters won't get affected. So stuff like Mutagons, Cephalops, Tariti, the Oxidrake encounters, and also the Sluglings on Kaneko Village, because those are also like static encounters. All of those things that I just mentioned will not get affected by the pity system. Only the normal random wild encounters will be affected by the pity system. So basically, grass encounters, cave encounters, basically things that are random that you find in the wilds. The second question is, does this make getting alphas, gammas, and roamers easier to find? The simple answer for this is no. Most players that actually use their boost have a good chance to get something within those first 128 encounters before the pit system actually kicks in, which in return will reset the pit system counters back to default. The pit system just enables players that got unlucky and didn't get anything in those first 128 encounters to actually get something for still hunting. And the final question, and probably the biggest one, is will this affect the rarity and value of things? The simple answer of this one is also no. Like I mentioned in the last question, this will only affect players that don't get anything within the first 120 encounters, and will then give them something on their 120th encounter, which means it will still be 1 in 128 for alphas and roamers. For gammas, nothing changed either, because when you encounter a gleaming in the wild, if that Lumi's mastery has been completed, the game will roll a 5-sided dice. If it lands between 1 and 4, you will get an alpha, and if you roll a 5, you will get a gamma. And if we play it to the pity system, on average you would get a gamma on the fifth time the pity system encounters actually kick in, in which like I said, most players will actually end up finding something before their 120th encounter, before the pity system kicks in, which will then also go ahead and reset their pity back up to the default 128. And with that being said, I think that's everything I want to go over in this video. If I actually missed anything, or you still have like more questions, let me know in the comments down below. But it's like a quick rundown of like what the pity system actually is, what it does, and just like a few overall general questions that people have actually had about the pity system. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash the like and subscribe if you haven't already, and with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.